miserable throughout much of the Midwest, but don't fear, we've got football to perk up our spirits as we join you from Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here between the Washington Commanders and the Cincinnati Bengals. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Bengals. So a heck of a start to this one. We haven't even gotten settled in already in the end zone on the opening kickoff. And you know what happens, too? Now, now, now you got to translate what that means because I think for the team that just scored, their defense, I think they'll be more aggressive now. They'll be bolder. They're playing with a lead and an early one and some momentum. So if you're the offensive coordinator on the other side of the field, you better be prepared for some heavy pressure coming your way. They're going to try and get another big score and a big one early. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Let's go now. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Their first play from scrimmage is a pickup of 13. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. Daxton Hill there to make the stop on defense. Well, this defense for the Bengals, they were very good in the win last week against Jacksonville. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try to keep your quarterback upright. On second and nine, Powell got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Here we go, here we so go. they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. there right from the start as he'll get this one out near the 35. 13-yard 13 gain yet again, just like last play. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Al ran it last time. Now he's going to throw it. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On oh, first and 10, it's Robinson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the 8. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. They'll give him a yard on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Now keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top-five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. 
His third touchdown now on the year. And the Commanders take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. And it's no good. He missed it. And the game remains tied. Oh, boy. So back even at six apiece as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort well now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury and we'll be back in a moment here we go Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line they'll start this drive out on the ground and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Here we go, here One we go. play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. 11, 11, 11, 11. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Potter, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The Bengals hit three and two, a game over 500 here to start the season. And they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 39. 23 yards to pick up there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here we go. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. We go, They're we hoping go. the same thing happens this time out, too. Burrow once again here on second and 10. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in Here his sight lines. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. And Burrow going to throw again. And that will be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. All tied up, 6-6, our score after one.
Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Powell completing the quick throw out wide. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second down and a run by Robinson. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. They'll try the option right here on third down. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Ten more there and another first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Second down, Hal now. Here's a screen for Robinson. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., a five-yard touchdown. And the Commanders have taken the lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. Running room at the 50. Look out. And he's going to take this all the way down inside the 40. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Potter looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding him to no gain. Play action. It's Burrow. And his throw here is incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Here we go, here we go. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Now it's Burrow. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. Fourth down, out comes the punter, Drew Chrisman. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this will get inside the 20 and be touched down just outside of the 15-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. Looking for Strong, and it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from Bengals TD. But no surprise to see that one, partner. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that have made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around them rather than work through them. Big-time impact playmakers scattered throughout the unit on every level, and they can change a game at a moment's notice. All square now at 13-all as he sends this one away. Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago and threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Second and 14. Second down, Hal back to pass. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. the shotgun going down the middle and it's complete and he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line just shy of the 20 Ready. now they face a second and long following the holding penalty out of the gun they give to Robinson Yet again, just a bruising carry. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 53 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Pal to the air on first and 10. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. What will look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. 
to throw once more on second and ten. Howell. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And they have regained the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. To throw again on second down, Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 11, 11, 11, 11. First down, here's Burrow. And he'll go right back to Chase, that's caught again. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. He's got his man on the crossing route. This is Higgins. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. McPherson's kick is good, and we are all tied at 16 apiece. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. teams get really conservative because they don't want to make a mistake but after that return I think the offense coordinator just took a deep sigh of relief and said okay I can open up my playbook now let's see if he attacks Robinson and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down no gain on the play that time but it sets up second and goal they're right there at the one no gain but don't let that stop you line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. They'll come out in the pistol. Robinson again. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. 
That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. This Bengal defense, they passed the first two tests. Now it's third and goal. Looking to throw. Robinson. That's caught at the three. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Sly able to put this one through. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their... He's got a man complete! And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. So when's the best time to take the big shots downfield? When you think a defense least expects it, and I think the first play of the third quarter qualifies. They came right out firing. That's how you send a message to start the second half of a game. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. 11, 11, 11. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. And the Commanders are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. They find some open field here. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 30 yards. So that one, just a little touch pass, but it paid off quite handsomely. Yeah, and let's face it, the quarterback loves it because it pads his stats as a completed pass for nice yardage downfield. But I like the way they get the receiver in motion. It's almost like he's running a route before he gets the football because he's got a full head of steam when the ball is popped in his direction. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and wing in a big way and giving the guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, Robinson. 
And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times, that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football than snuffed out the play. And that is no good. No good. Wide to the left. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal. But when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them go. when you can. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more oh, interesting here in the second half. Now Burrow on first down. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll try the left side. It's Potter, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs, and here a loss of yardage. Here we go, here we go. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. On one, ready? The rain compounding issues here for a possible field goal try. They'd love to obviously get closer or even pick up the first down if they can. It's third down. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Now a first and 10 at the 11. 12, 12, 12. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. First touchdown on the year. And the Bengals have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. 
And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now throwing on first down here. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Gets it to Strong, and the tackle going to be made at the 38. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the Bengals have just about sewn up this football game. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Here we go. Another Here we go. running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Now it's Burrow. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And I think they are going to get this one back. Well, that would have been something. Double turnovers. But instead, they'll keep the possession on the INT. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it a costly turnover. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 78 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Here's Howell. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So they say we'll let that completed pass stand, and we'll bring up third down instead as they decline it. So they're comfortable with the yardage. The big thing to them is what you pointed out, getting it the third down and making a play there.
The Bengals with two extra DBs. A nickel look on third. Blanket in the passing lanes. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. pick up the first. Pal to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Down, Hal, desperation time. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bengals will get the football back. Here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And this one all over, but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because gun, gun. we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Side. They had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. So they felt like that takeaway once it happened and knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So for Cincinnati, their good start continues as they get their record up to 4-2. and two. And they'll get another home date next week as the Browns will come to town. Meanwhile, for Washington, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And they will be at home next week to take on the New York Giants.